Hello everyone, this is Katie Blatnick-Gagné and I am going to show you how to create a box and whisker plot using SPSS. As you can see, I have my data information already displayed. In this particular scenario, we are taking a look at all 50 states, which are listed here, their household income average, and whether or not that state voted for McCain or Obama during the 2008 election. We're first going to go up here to analyze and then to descriptive statistics and then down to explore. In this section, I already have listed my dependent information, which is household income, and my Obama McCain in my factor list. You can just click on these and drag and drop them into the places that they need to go. So you can change that up depending on what you have in this section. And then you have different options over here on this side. In statistics, this gives you your descriptives and your confidence interval. Um, I will leave this at 95%. That is typically what we see these at, and I'll just leave that there. Um, in plots, it will ask you if you want different things taking place here or if it wants um, you want it to analyze in different ways. Sometimes this stem and leaf will be automatically selected, and I am going to take that off. I don't want that information today for the basic statistics that we are going to be taking a look at. And then in the options section, there's nothing here that I'm going to change. Click OK. And the nice thing is, is that SPSS, literally with the click of your mouse, has the ability to um, complete its operations and, and give you this information. So it tells us our case processing summary. This gives us the number of cases um, that we have for McCain. So there were 22 states that voted for McCain. And for Obama, there were 28. And there was no missing data. It then breaks it down into the descriptive statistics. And here we have McCain, and the bottom section is for Obama. It gives us all of the same information, just bases it on whether or not that state was for McCain or for Obama. You can also see within here that there are different statistical vocab words that you should be coming, becoming familiar with, such as mean, median, standard deviation, min, max. Um, and those are also some of those that show up in that five number summary. Then our last piece that is given to us is our box and whiskers plot. This information that was created up here is now dispersed into our box and whiskers plot. Um, we will be able to do the write-up for this particular chart based on our descriptive statistics that are shown in these two areas. I suggest that you check out the scenario and results section on the website page for the descriptive statistics information that will show up for the box and whiskers chart. Have a great day.